our previous video, we learned the fertilization process and what it leads to. The process helps in the formation of fruits and seeds enclosed in them. The seeds are the structures containing the embryo within. Now all that's required is proper rooting of the seeds in the soil. This will result in germination and thus growth of a new plant. But now the question arises, how are these seeds fixed in the soil? Do they always get rooted near the parent plant from where they arise? Or sometimes at distances as well? Seeds can be dispersed to nearby or distant places as well, all thanks to the process of seed dispersal. The process by which seeds are dispersed to distant places by various agents is known as dispersal of seeds. Who are these agents? Seeds are transferred to various places by factors such as the wind, water, explosion and animals. These agents make the process of dispersal of seeds easier. Let's now discuss about this process in detail. Our first agent of dispersal is the wind. Seeds of plants like dandelions have parachute-like or hair-like structures attached that are so light in weight that they easily get carried away by the wind. Thus, even the seeds get carried to distant places. What is the next agent we have in our list? It's water. Fruits which float, such as those of the lotus and coconut palm, are carried by water. You won't believe that coconuts can travel for thousands of kilometers across seas and oceans. Hard to believe, but they do. What is the next type of dispersal? Let me name it for you. It's called the dispersal by explosion. Did I just say explosion? You heard me right. Then what exactly explodes in a plant? In some cases, fruits or pods containing seeds burst on their own. The pods dry and split open suddenly with considerable force which throws the seed at a distance. What are the examples of such type? We have plants like broom and peas which belong to this category. Now these were all the abiotic agents. Last in the list are the biotic agents which we need to have a look at. Biotic means living organisms. So are animals also responsible for dispersal of seeds? Yes, they are. Tell me one thing. What do we do with the seeds after eating juicy fruits? We generally throw away the seeds, right? Yes, that is how seeds from a plant growing in one area reach a completely different area. Plants are even benefited with the seed dispersal by animals. To understand this, let's take the simple example of birds. Birds also relish on the juicy fruits that have seeds within. In many cases, the seeds of the plants are too tough to germinate if planted directly into the soil. Now, if such a fruit is consumed by a bird, then the seed does not get digested in the bird's body and is thrown away directly. However, the hard seed cover softens a bit due to the chemical activity of the acids present in the bird's stomach. So as the seed passes through the bird's gut, it gets soft and when it drops on the ground and gets rooted, it becomes easy for the seed to germinate. This is how animals can help in far and wide dispersal of seeds. Can you name some seeds which belong to this category? Blackberry, cherry, apple and so many pulpy fruits have seeds that are dispersed by animals. Now tell me, why do we need this dispersal process? I mean, what will happen if the seeds from the parent plant get planted near it? Being near the parent plant would severely affect the growth and development of both the plants. And why so? The two will start competing for sunlight and water. That is the reason why seed dispersal is extremely useful for plants.